So, Tommy Oliver recently put out a video. He asks a very interesting question. Has analysis damaged the fandom? While he did bring up a lot of very good points, I find myself feeling the need to add my two, twenty, hundred cents. So, the big question. Has analysis damaged the fandom? Well, that's not a fair question to ask, because it's a loaded question. The way this question is said only allows you to answer in defense and carries a lot of questionable implications and assumptions. The first point I want to get across is, analysis is not to blame for the fandom growing divisive. I wouldn't give it that much credit, as I don't think it has nearly enough power to do that. I think it is merely a consequence. Drama was a thing long before analysis was a big part of the community. Example, Lauren Faust leaving the show. That was something that caused a divide since many people still see it as the downfall of the show, while others, like me, think the show got better after she left. But before that, there wasn't much disagreement from bronies other than who was best pony. <coughs> One of Tommy's several very valid observations is how the fandom was incredibly positive at its conception, but as time went on, it slowly grew more critical. But I wouldn't put the blame on analysis for that, well, for the most part. I feel this is something that can be attributed to basic human nature. The more people you have in a group, the higher chances people are going to have differing opinions on something. If you want to blame anything, blame the fandom growing larger. More people have voices, and with that we bring in dozens of new perspectives. Also, the initial shock of a little girl show actually being good has slowly worn off over time. Season 1 was the honeymoon period, where we had the strongest feelings of, Ooh, I'm watching My Little Pony when I shouldn't be! We've had 5 years, 2 movies, and a dozen fandom freakouts to effectively wear off the honeymoon. But I digress, back to Tommy's original question. Allow me to rephrase it. Instead of asking how has analysis damaged the fandom, we should instead ask, how has analysis changed the fandom? Has it changed for the good or the bad? Well, both, but I'm thinking it changed more for good. I'm reminded of something my father once said, if there's no conflict, there's a problem. The Brony fandom at the start did view almost every season 1 episode as perfect, some still do, and while that's good in one way, it's terrible in many others. Insulating yourself from criticism and basking in an echo chamber of approval inhibits the necessary self-reflection one needs to grow and is the making of a man-child. There are too many people in the fandom that don't know how to properly function when faced with criticism against them or something they like. While it's nice to have positive reinforcement and we should get that in healthy doses, it's going to damage your maturity if that's all you surround yourself in. You need people to challenge you. You need people to contest your preconceptions. You need people to shake you up, otherwise you're just deluding yourself. In healthy doses, of course. I don't think I had to say that too much negativity is bad. It's a painful fact that the brony fandom needed the analysis community. There's a lot of subsets of the fandom and none of them are really dedicated to dissecting what the show actually is. They certainly dabble in it, but like I said, not dedicated. Analysts and critics are the only ones who take it upon themselves to say what needs to be said about the show and even the fandom. We needed Tommy to say the pilot had problems. We needed Voice to say Friendship is Witchcraft had problems. We needed Anthony C to say Canterlot Wedding had problems. We needed people to call out the show or the fandom if it ever did something questionable. This community needed someone to say the Emperor has no clothes. There are too many people in the fandom who, like Tommy noticed, are too preoccupied with taking horse famous people's videos as the gospel. It's a common tactic to use another's video as a weapon in online slap fights so you don't have to do any thinking yourself. But this is a thing not exclusive to the brony fandom. Analysis, critique, and reviews are nothing new on the internet. Gamers have plenty of celebrities that they quote and toss around when arguing as well. The fact that the brony fandom is doing the same thing is bad, yes. But, it also shows that we are maturing beyond the niche we currently are. That being said, the analysis community isn't without fault. Not only do we have an oversaturation of analysts, but we have an oversaturation of analysts that aren't good at it. There are way too many people that think that having a negative opinion or being cynical is the same as sounding intelligent. There are way too many analysts that don't know how to critique properly. There are too many analysts that are doing this just to get horse famous. Bottom line, there are too many analysts that don't offer anything of worth, but many of us treat them like they do. We're not a medium large enough to warrant the amount of critics we have, so something needs to change on that end. Also, Tommy Oliver really does go into a lot of detail about how analysis has had malefical effects on the community, and... Yeah, they are mostly valid observations. If you want to see the damage analysis has caused, just go watch Tommy's video. He pretty much covers every base. In conclusion, has analysis damaged the fandom? Yes and no. 
It's gotten worse in some ways, but it's gotten better in others. This is just part of the fandom figuratively hitting puberty. I personally have a more optimistic outlook on the fandom than Tommy does, but that's fine because we need that. We need the contrast. We need people to disagree. We need both optimism and pessimism because that's how people grow and mature. Both Tommy and I will continue to take a little girl's cartoon way too seriously because we should. But I just cannot believe that with all these brilliant stories, people find the time to rant and rage about the epic and shit that makes a Mary Sue O.C. They ignore the fact that it's just a show. I just want to make them see what I'm probably unique. Cause it's all just fake, it's all fan fake to me. Yeah, it's all fan fake. This is just part of the fandom figuratively hitting community. Pfft, what am I thinking? <laughs>